What began as a simple mod pack designed for me to finally have an excuse to play Vanilla Genetics Expanded has rolled into a scary, scary beast. Welcome to Remore Genetics mod pack that was originally designed to fill a gap while I work on a much larger and more complicated mod pack, but this became a horrifying monster in its own right. Again, I wanted to play Vanilla Genetics Expanded, a, a mod that is... Very nostalgic for me, given that my third ever series was Genetic Rim on the channel. It was the, the, the proper, the, the first ever proper mod pack that I built for sure. This, though, took on a frightening life of its own, and I'm quite excited to share it with you. Even though the drive of this mod pack is to uh, play and experience Vanilla Genetics Expanded, it became a much wider mod pack in small ways, nothing that will certainly drown out Vanilla Genetics Expanded. But it ended up having a lot of biology and disease, especially disease, medical expansions, and all sorts of weird, very cursed biology. That's the whole point of the mod pack. So we're going to go with Curse of the Beaten here, and we are going to go with Curse of Pestilence. I spent a long time trying to think of a better storyteller, but honestly, Casper just has a nice combination of punishing medical problems. And that is the theme that's going to be going for a long, long time time here. Now, because we're going to need test subjects, both for our genetics aspect of things and both for, honestly, organ donation at this point, we're going to go with a slightly smaller planet size so that we can actually get to all of the biomes much more conveniently. And we're going to use the incredible regrowth expanded world generation here, uh, maintained by Malia, of course, but originally by Helixian and Taranchuk, if I remember correctly. We're going to throw in a lot of roads because <laughs> there's probably going to be a lot of caravanning to try and get some replacement limbs because this is going to be a complete mess. I think I'll probably leave the factions how they are. We haven't had the Empire for a very, very long time. We haven't had mechanoids for what feels like a long time, and we're going to need a few insects to do uh, some nice crossbreeding with. Some nice little experimentation here and there. And honestly, this is a pretty nice world map, too. This is pretty good. We'll just go for the middle, and then I want to say search for a specific landform because we have all of these interesting options to go for. I absolutely love the uh, landform mod. I like the idea of Lake with Island. Oh, we go lake with island and we build our genetics lab on the central island of the lake. That could be very cool. Kind of similar to a few bases we've had recently in, in terms of defenses. But that could be that could be quite fun. What else have we got that's kind of similar though? Crater? How does that look? Whoa, that's a weird one. Lots of caves, potential for bugs there. That's nice. We actually do want bugs this time around. Caldera could be another... Oh, that's interesting. So you get the lake with a mountain. I like the look of that one. You know what? We're going to go for that one instead. It's also very convenient to the road there as well. I'm going to make the map slightly large. We're not going to go too far into large, though, because that will have a detriment to the game itself. The question is, what are we going to do with our idea legend? Now, I was thinking to tie it quite nicely into the biology theme, the, the ravaging diseases, the transformative diseases, the organ problems we're going to have, and, of course, the genetic engineering what if we go for something like Inhuman Ravagers? That could be quite interesting. That gives us access to Biological Corruptors, Violent Conversion, Blood Core, and Flesh Crafting. And for a series where Vanilla Genetics Expanded is going to be at the very core of it, where we are going to be uh, twisting flesh and corrupting biology, I think this could be very appropriate. I like the sound of that one. For the actual starting characters, we'll use the character editor UI. I'll throw in a few interesting looking random characters and we'll head out from there. I'm not going to design anything too over the top. I guess I'll rename them from my from my big old names list though. Mo is already looking incredible. That is somebody fit for the job right there. Okay, Mo. Oh, that re-rolls Mo. Well, why did that not work when I had Tomboy selected? <gasps> or a Murtor? <laughs> <laughs> okay, turns out we might have found something better. Zoe Sora Ray. Look at this. Age 60, a bestower. And then we have a woman in black and then a town councilman. What a weird combo of people. I'm absolutely in. These might be purely random characters, but I'm already prepared to die for them. Shmeeb, Bocalisto, and Boy of Noodles. Oh no! Benign growth in his right leg. Okay, we don't have to worry about that one too much. Total of our team skills. We've got pretty good melee. We've got pretty good money. We've got pretty good plants. We've got pretty good intellectual. However, we're all probably going to die horribly of food poisoning. The three of you awake in your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of blah, 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 blah. Wow. Look at this map, though. 
Wow, that is uh, that's awesome. Okay, we can work with this. Yeah, we can really work with this. If we have the lab all the way back here, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's, let's get ourselves set up before we get too carried away. We could always re-roll the map too if we wanted to go for, for something slightly different. But you know what? I think it's going to be hard to beat what we have right now. One with maybe a slightly smaller lake. I do quite like the look of this one. But you know what? That's okay. You know what? We'll keep it how it is. Thank you. Unfortunately, we've started with plenty of medicine. We've got a husky called Beauregard. <laughs> to go with bow. Okay, that works fine. And then we have... We have eyeballs, because of course we do. I mean, of course we have eyeballs, but we have actual independent eyeballs. And this mountain, this small rock face is going to be all that stands between us and a whole planet of disease. We have the plague, we have Scaria that can spread to humans and drive them berserk. We have a whole new host of, of diseases and potential negative outcomes from things like medicine, rejections with organ transplanting. This place is quite frankly a nightmare. And that's exactly why I put it on medium difficulty, because I'm a coward. Oh, that's always a good sign. The boy of noodles now holds the role of first gladiator. So I think our ideology has the blood court meme, which makes it so the uh, leader of the faction is whoever our most prolific fighter is. He does have 12 melee double passion to his credit. Let's customize our ideology a little bit. Apparently we worship the flying spaghetti mob. I think it makes some changes here. Well, silly me. I mean, how could I forget that these three people have been sent here to cure the world from its disease through any means necessary. As long as it's biology, you're allowed to do it. And there's all of these many things too. But of course, if you do want to play along, I will make the save available right now. This exact save right here. This save right here. And you know what? It's not as terrible as it could be. Boy of Noodles is a fantastic warden, a great colony leader. 16 social double passion is exactly what we need. Bo is very good at handling animals, which we're going to need in droves when we actually get to the genetic stuff. I've got to cook, which is a slight problem, but we can grow crops. We can, we can build things. We can mine things. We haven't got a crafter. Not relevant quite yet. And we do have a good researcher, but I'm going to lower that down for a long time. Because it's going to be a while before we get to the whole genetic stuff, right? Oh, we could build the lab in the island in the middle. We'll have to get some bridges set up, but that would be quite interesting. Having it right in the middle of everything, well defended. We could put another wall up around it. That way it effectively has a moat and a mountain. Now this time around, we're going to have to be very, very careful because diseases will spread between our people like wildfire, and there are a lot of diseases to spread. So I'm going to give them modestly sized, but decently spread out rooms. I want to make sure that they're big enough to fit in everything. <laughs> everything they could need to live because it's a very good chance they're going to be locked in if we get some sort of horrible pandemic going on. I guess we'll take this and we'll just kind of rebuild it and use this as a storage room for the time being. That will do. You're right. That's got to be crypto sleep sickness, right? Have we got to worry about that spreading between our people? Oh... Disease is overhauled. Okay, what does it do then? Uh, after effects of using a crypto sleep pod, crypto sleep suspends and replaces many bodily functions. While this is ongoing, the patient suffers nausea, dizziness, and a sense of fuzziness in the mind. Okay, maybe nothing we have to worry about. Potentially, for no immunizable, no, we can immunize against diseases. That's nice. Tendable, no. Nothing we have to worry about for the time being. Lots of scarification going on. Whoa. And then you've also got moderate crypto sickness. What about the benign growth? Are we going to need to diagnose that? They lack the ability to either invade on neighboring, uh, neighboring tissues or metastasize. Okay. Tendable, yes. We'll see if we can do something about that later. We could always just lop his leg off and grow him a new one eventually. Oh, and actually, on the subject of that, one of the restrictions of the idea religion is we are only allowed to use biological organs. Things that I assume we grow using uh, vanilla ge genetics expanded. That should hopefully work. And if it doesn't, I will make it work. But more importantly, we can fleshcraft ourselves some new organs. So that would be that would be quite handy, given that our guy's already got a bit of a gammy leg. What, what do you do? What do these things do? Eyelings. A grotesquely enlarged eye crawling around with the help of a few fleshy tentacles. Oh, God, we're off to a good start. Not very useful at all. Great by infusing an animal with strange energies from an extra dimensional corruption. Excellent. Really glad we did that. And then they give us alpha genomes. Oh, interesting. So all of the alpha animals give an alpha genome, which we can use with vanilla genetics expanded. Wow. I'm not going to... Well, that was fast. <laughs> I'm not going to make the mistake of presuming it works too much like genetic rim. Let's treat this as a whole new thing to relearn from scratch. I'm sure some of the mechanics and themes are very similar, but I don't want to... 
will potentially make a mess of things here. I'm going to make the character boxes slightly larger, and I'm also going to enable the health bars so that we can see those in a bit more uh, more detail at a glance. Diseases and injuries and everything is, is going to be the thing that wipes us out here. I don't think we need to worry about raids. It's not with defense like this. It's it's internally that we have to worry, which I think is going to make for quite, quite a nice change. I don't think I've really had a mod pack like that before. We got a lot of spare guns. I guess because this person was a town council, this person was a man in black or a woman in black here, so she at least starts with a starts with a revolver. You actually have your LTEC staff. Weird. I mean, we're not going to be able to do anything with that, but we can make this person our... Uh, given that they're a bestower, we can make them one of our ocular priests, right? We could connect those, th th this person, to the Garanlan tree, which will eventually be corrupt. Already? We've only just started. Okay, uh, let's get ourselves equipped then. I wasn't expecting this quite so soon. I also love that for our biological genetic series, we've got this, this kind of Darwinist system where the strongest person leads the faction. That's quite a nice coincidence. You know what? I think we've all go for the bolt action rifle there, fella. And let's put on a plasteel flak helmet rather than... I mean, it's a lovely hat. Don't get me wrong. That is a fantastic hat you've got there. What are we being attacked by? Man hunting cats. <laughs> <laughs> probably didn't need the flak helmet in hindsight. Now, Bo being a woman in black probably... Probably has good shooting. We're going to be the next words out of my mouth. Oh, to beginner. All right, never mind then. Shmeeb, what do you like? Shmeeb, bring that stick. We've got some cats to beat. Come on, squad. Fight of our lives. This is actually painful to watch. <laughs> oh! She's already caught Scarrier. Or more specifically, the Scarrier has affected her. Oh, for God's sake. Does that mean she's going to die? Because she's got Scarrier now. Death in five days? Bo! Oh, oh, she's fine, she's fine, she's fine. Can we cure you? It, oh, you can cure Scaria, right? Well, normally you need a ridiculous amount of, uh... That's blood rot I'm thinking of. How do we, uh... Cure Scaria? Through medicine, we can do it, we can do it. No medical beds available. Well, don't worry about the medical bed. That's not relevant right now. Uh, what is more relevant is, um... And th this has just occurred to me. We don't actually have a doctor in this genetic series with a lot of diseases. <laughs> Well, I'd say we're off to a staggeringly good start. <laughs> Who wants to volunteer to be doctor? Uh, Noodle Boy, Boy of Noodles, has zero medical. And Shmeeb has zero medical? Oh my god, is Bo the best doctor? Bo, you can't possibly cure yourself. Uh, has no one got the medical skill to cure Bo? Because that could be a concern. We need eight medical for that. No, I will never hear the end of this. I can't lose. We've got five days to try and capture someone with eight medical. <laughs> We've learned something new today. Be careful of the kit. I laughed at them. I laughed at the kitty cats and now they've got the last laugh. Poor Bo is going to die of rimworld rabies and there's nothing I can do to stop it. Oh my God. <laughs> Man, I mean, that is fantastic. Don't get me wrong. Normally, I would laugh at a Manhunter pack of a couple of... What is that? Oh, my God. It's just a moth. You got me on edge now. I'm freaking out. Normally, I'd laugh at a Manhunter pack of a... Oh, a couple of cats. But now it's like actually life and death. Isn't that right, Bo? I'm sorry, Bo. I'll put you back in the names list. I can't... I can't let you die after a day. That's pathetic. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, look. Before we tend Bo, how much medicine have we got right now? One medicine? How much have you got there? Four. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm making an executive decision here. We can only cure life-threatening diseases like Scaria. We can only cure cuts and life-threatening wounds with medicine because of Casper Cursed. I'm locking the door. Good night, sweet prince. And through hard work, dedication, and 5,000 hours in this game, just like me, you too can be as good as I am. That's going to be a new record. A new record or a new channel low. I'll let you decide. Oh, no. Oh, Beauregard the Husky. What's happened because of Bo's death? I'm sorry. Bo, what were you good at again? Remind me. Animals mining. It, it's not a bad loss. 
And genuinely, the next thing I was about to do was introduce the characters properly and go through their skills and their traits because, I mean, they're random. You know as much as I do right now. Uh, that does save me a little time on that front, so that's good. <laughs> For better or worse. We have Boy of Noodles. Very good at melee. Obviously going to be our faction leader probably for quite some time. Bear in mind it's based on the strongest person. And Boy of Noodles is going to be kind of hard to beat. Good medical... Uh, sorry, good animal skill. Good medical skill would have really been nice. Good animal skill, which is going to be very relevant to taming and capturing animals for the inevitable genetics project. Social 15, double passion is fantastic. Teetotaler and kind. Actually not bad, but incapable of skilled labor does make me a little bit sad, all things considered. Shmeeb is an urban lady turned land worker of a, a previous empire bestower before she was sniped by gene corp to help stop the spread of these horrible diseases he inclined perfectionist and prude uh perfectionist is very good works a lot slower i suppose we could try and train her up to be our crafter in that case because she will get better results so even if she was only say level kind of 14 crafting she'd still have like good chance at very high level items and then a prude that's not a big deal Intellectual 13. Clearly not smart enough to know to watch out for the rabies infested cats, but that's another story. Now you've got a lot of funny words over there, Magic Man, that I'm not entirely sure I understand. Organic blade rip expected. Uh, what is that? Two seekers want to carry out the scarification. A celebration of natural biology. Well, it's not really a, a, a celebration of natural biology that we're really after. Any biology is good as long as it is clean, untainted biology. The corruptors are acceptable because they are clean, untainted biology, not full of horrible, horrible disease. The genetic experimentation, the hybridization, it's all to try and find, you know, perfect life out there. Something that can survive in these horrible, disease-ridden, infested planets. And uh, surely this should be proof that what we're doing here is righteous. I'm not quite sure calling it organic blade rip is going to win many fans. Uh, and then we have the fair of mutation. Oh, good, of course. What is the fair of mutation? Uh, it is a lovely, it's just a fair. We need a light ball. Oh my god, we can have a disco to mutation. That's good. And then a bloody morning is expected for Boa. A uh, funeral. A uh, funeral is what you would call it if you weren't dreadfully edgy. I, for one, look forward to our <laughs> mutation disco. <laughs> now let's put the coffin within, within good view of the houses. It's nice to be reminded of our mortality and what we're here trying to cure through any means necessary. Horrible mutation, horrible genetics, horrible, horrible everything. I, I, speaking of which, that's also horrible. <laughs> this pillow is a little bit strange. Hotel quality. Boy of Noodles is a monster, complete lunatic. Oh, because he's got a benign growth that he's waiting for treatment on. But uh, in my, shall we call it, Br brashness. Uh, in my alacrity, I may have overlooked the fact. What the hell is going on here? I. You don't have to wear masks to come and visit. Good God, we're not that bad. Doesn't matter. <laughs> well, the mask. Very concerned about the. She's not infectious. I mean, she's dead. I know you can be infectious after you died, but I mean, she's not gonna. She's not gonna claw anyone and spread it. Is kind of what I'm getting at. Let's go and have a chat with them. Let's see what they've got then. We got high social skills. So we. All right. So we're not actually gonna trade with them. I decided that's kind of a silly idea for the time being. This really couldn't be going better. Hope you're ready to get struck. Oh, what if they get an infection? I'll cut all your brain and eat it for brunch. Are you going to get prions? Nightmare. Oh, this is a nightmare campaign. <laughs> this is a complete nightmare. Look at the size of that turkey. Hello? Right. Let's see what you've got then. Um, medicine is preferable. I mean, Nutramium might be a fantastic idea. We've got Ambrosia, which I don't really need. I might sell one of those. To be honest, I could, I could take the gun link. I could seriously take the gun link right now. Being able to gun down cats in a much more timely manner really might not hurt you know what you drive a hard bargain but i think i'm gonna take it for condition need tending we can't tend them i'm i'm not willing to give up medicine for for that here's what we'll say then let's say herbal medicine or worse because we need to save the good medicine for all of the life-threatening injuries you know we said boy of noodles to uh self-tend to be honest we might as well turn you both into doctors because you've got the same skill you might as well self-tend if possible but i don't want to use in the good medicine for things like that we could also set that up in pharmacist as well um at the very bare minimum to treat cuts we need we need medicine in fact for everything we need medicine don't we so let's go ahead and set that up preemptively and then i, I think let's save all of the medicine for the really, really high tier stuff. You know, I'm going to say everything uses herbal medicine for now. When we get new trimming, when we can actually craft medicine and we have other ways to save our people, then we can change this with, with pharmacists to uh, be a bit more generous with it. But we're going to have to be so careful with our supplies. On the subjects of that, 
We do not have semi-random research because I thought this is going to be difficult. Little did I know I would lose a character within the first five minutes. Maybe going for sterile materials as uh, just like immediately here. Going for hospital beds, going for medicine. I, I mean, there's got to be like neutramine research, right? Synthesis and production. Getting any of that ticked off? Oh my god, did you see the amount of drugs there? Holy crap, look at this. Medicine basics. Basic utility medicine. Methylanthenamide production. I don't even know what that is. Neutramine, of course. Insectoid something something. Wow. Wow, look at how much of this tree is all about bionics and... Bionics? Uh, biology. Look at it all. There's so much. Masterwork. Masterwork coffin. I mean, I would be happy to know. I, I, I mean, I, I would personally rather be alive, but I mean, that's a, that's a nice uh, compromise. <laughs> that's a nice consolation prize. Hey, yeah, let's have a funeral. We can't have a funeral. We can't have a funeral. We don't have a moral guide yet. Oh, Lord. Okay, top priority then. Let's bulldoze this bedroom. Let's expand it out into kind of a, a, a living area. Let's go for... I, I'm just going to build everything out of wood for the time being, because I think that's probably not a terrible idea. Let's go for a pretty small kitchen, maybe a freezer. So you know what? We'll leave that wall in. We'll turn that bit into a freezer. This bit could be a kitchen. We'll have a little dining room there too. And then once we've got that set up, I think I might double down on research for a while so that we can maybe try and get ourselves some, uh, some hospital equipment as soon as possible. That's a horrible start. Ah, hello there. I see you hiding behind that tree. In fact, we should probably just get whatever we can find. I don't want to travel too far for it on account of wanting to build this base as soon as possible, but I think I'll take 16 wild heel root. That might genuinely be the difference between us and dying right now. You want to go grab that for me? We're not... We'll never do plant cutting. Shmeeb. Okay, well, Shmeeb is just going to do everything at this point. Oh, good. Since it looks like you'll be here for a while, while it's nice that somebody's optimistic, Boy of Noodles thinks you should give your faction a name. What shall your faction be called? Shall we be the Northeast, uh, Kaistia Populous Concord? Now that you mention it, uh, no, that's a terrible name. I'm, I'm having a difficult time coming up with something that's indicative of being genetically pure, as in free of disease, without it also sounding like us wanting to be associated with factions I would rather not be associated with. Um, we're going to call ourselves... Oh god, this is difficult. Think of the connotations, boy of noodles. We're just going to call ourselves... Uh, we're going to call ourselves... What was the name of the ideologian again? Well, I can't even check. Random button. Everything has been random so far. Surely there is something in here. Oh, these are terrible. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> the butt bun documented confederacy. <laughs> Done. Fonten. What about Fontown? Fontown, owned by the butt bun documented confederacy. Uh, you've always got to trust in trust in randomness. Trust in the RNG. I think I'm going to do what's called a pro gamer move here, and I'm going to limit them to just remaining within the caldera itself. I don't want them wandering outside of this because I have a feeling Noodle Boy right now, who I just saw make a beeline for the exit, I think he may be going after some sort of animal corpse to bring back home. And I honestly, I'd just rather he didn't. In a series about avoiding diseases, that doesn't seem like the most prudent move. Uh, hauling around animal corpses, that is. I'll let them have a little bit towards the edge here, just so that we can maybe grab a few resources to kick things off. But I'll try and keep... Most of this intact. We'll do the classic of beelining it for deep drills as soon as we get the opportunity. You know, rather than beelining it for disease-filled animal corpses. What are you after? Uh, hauling a raccoon to stockpile zone three. Nope, that has just been revoked. Thank you. Are we, are we planning on eating that cat? Is it safe to eat that cat with the plethora of mods we have going on? Well, I mean, if you cook it thoroughly enough, you can, you can technically eat anything. And because I really hate my colonists, we're going to build the ever-so-cursed corner chess. <laughs> Nobody would have predicted it, but episode one, we've already got ourselves a hybrid. It's a... a Hoss guy. It's a Hoss guy. He's done it. <laughs> I'm upset about myself for that one. Don't worry. <laughs> oh my god. It's, it's actually just occurred to me as well. Boy of Noodles fell in love with Bo immediately, didn't he? And Bo died. Immediately, didn't she? So the random name for the leader of our faction is Bio President. That's fantastic. It was about the only fantastic thing that's happened so far. Do we have any good mining at all? Because two components are all that's standing between, oh no, not really, us and uh, effectively a fully functional base, right? We've got this lake in the middle we can fish from. 
We have some delicious rabies infested cats we can snack on in the meantime. And this is what we're going to use to build the stove. At that point, we've, we've got everything we could possibly need. Let's get that built immediately. And Boy of Noodles has a daze because his love of bow died. Yeah, I didn't need to read that to know that that's exactly what I was going to say. The only downside to this is we've got a lot of garbage soil. Look at this. Pretty much 87% fertility immediately next to our base. Let's just throw down some... Oh, aquatic growing zones. Hey, that's a good idea. What if we? What can we actually grow here? Taro plant, water chestnut, watercress, and lotus. Oh, that's nice. Now, it says here that water-based plants take a long time to plant, which makes sense because... Uh, bear with me. You're in water. So I think we'll grow watercress because that only has a three-day growing time, and we are very much out of food. Our delicious rabies-infested cat, the same cat that killed uh, Bo, has gone rotten. So there is no victory here. And then I think as soon as feasibly possible, we'll have to trip down a research lab and just start work on trying to build a hospital. A grand hospital. This is going to be the biggest hospital we've ever built. And honestly, it's going to be fantastic. Maybe not for the people in it. That's going to be harrowing. It's going to be a horrible existence filled with pain and torture, diseases, organ rejection, mutations, experimentation. Really, the list goes on. It never ends because 90% of this mod pack is ways to inflict pain on my own people. As we have found out. <laughs> and then let's also throw down some regular plain old growing zones. I did want to build this here. It's the only convenient place to do it, but I also don't want to cover up that vent so that eventually we can do something with that. But for the time being, let's just throw down some rice. Let's get whatever we've got building in many different areas. Last thing we want is for our people to be starving on top of everything else. Oh, weapons. Hello. What have you got for me? Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's another weapon. That's a snail. We've got a hammer. Hey, build speed bonuses. Very nice. And then we've also got a combat handgun, which I assume is better than the crap we have currently. We don't have a lot of guns, though. Uh, come and equip this, for sure. That's going to help out. And apparel as well. Hello there. Oh, it's a wolf. Muffalo wool authority cap. 10% suppression power. I, uh, what does our ideology think of slavery by default? Um, Abhorrent. That's very annoying. We're not going to enslave their bodies when we can use their bodies in other ways. And I don't mean the hand-holding mod way. I mean finding a cure through perfect genetic manipulation and research. I think the eyeball ate that cat. Missing body parts 1.2%. <laughs> oh, it's when we shot off its ear. I get it. What do these eat? I mean, we could just eat them. Vegetables, raw meat, corpses, seed, live plants, meals, processed foods, liquor, and kibble. The same diet as me, then. That's fine. A true gamer diet. Oh, masterworks already, though. With 10 construction. I was about to say it's possible, but I mean, that's... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> obviously. A masterwork chess table. Oh, God. Bo would have loved that. Bo loved a cursed chess. It was her favorite game. The bloody morning has been delayed. It should have started already. Yes, look. I, bear with me here. We'll build a research room and the ritual room in the same room. You're not allowed to do that. You can't have workbench. Oh, God damn it. Let's just build this outside. Sod it. We can't put off this funeral any longer. And of course, nothing says we're the good guys like our faction symbol being a giant eye. Classic. Okay, uh, so you are the... Uh, you're the, the biological president or whatever. Do we want an ocular priest or do we want a moral guide? We want a flesh crafter. These are not questions I expected to ask so early on. I think we need a moral guide, don't we, to run the funeral. I, I do think you'd be better as an ocular priest, though. We need more people ultimately. Right, moral guide it is. What on earth is happening? I promise we're the good guys. We may have horrible, frightening, unethical methods of doing things, but all of this, all of our experimentation, our mutations, it's to try and cure the disease. It's what Bo would have wanted. I don't think anyone else in this situation wants it, but especially not Smee. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm glad they invited the husky. They invited Beauregard the husky. That's good. Bo the second. Hey, there you go. Who could have guessed we've got a successful role change? Right, let's have that funeral then. Hopefully this will cheer them up slightly. You know, like funerals tend to. Hey, it actually did. Plus five mood. Exploration of the desolate laboratory. We've intercepted radio transmissions from a seemingly abandoned genetics research lab not far from Funtown. This sign... <laughs> Oh, why are we called Fun Town? This site may have some interesting ancient technology scattered around it. Be a good idea to investigate. Yes, it would be. It's not actually that far away at all. And that becomes our new goal, I guess. How long until it despawns? Because I'm not in any hurry. It expires in 18 days. We might be able to get some new people before then. 
I was about to say, I think the game has been very kind uh, about not sending us a raid so far. But then it's occurred to me that we might be below the colonist limit. Uh, or, or minimum to get raids on account of um, b bow dying. I don't know if you've forgotten about that. Do you have a ritual or something? Organic blade rip. Yes, we can scarify people. We need a lectern to do it. Uh, I think Boy of Noodles is sad because he hasn't got enough scars. Don't worry, that'll change soon. No flesh crafter, no ocular priest. I we need more people. Insufficiently scarified. Yeah, okay, so let's um let's get on that right away. What if... Wait. Don't, they don't need tending with medicine. We've only got five medicine. <laughs> this is a dangerous game. Um, maybe instead of rice, uh, hear me out here. Well, let's turn on auto plow as well. Maybe instead of rice, we grow some heel root. I think that might genuinely be a very, very, very good idea. Sad wandering again because his lover bow died. I, I'm not gonna lie, you two knew each other for all of about five minutes. How can you be this sad? What did you two even talk about? What did they talk about? That's a great question. Shmeeb courted Boy of Noodles. Boy of Noodles is not interested. Boy of Noodles wooed Shmeeb. Well, you can't be that sad about it then, pal. Expires in 22 days? You only knew her for a day. <laughs> That's a classic. That's a certified reward moment right there. Unbelievable. Well, I think this could be incredible. And I don't, I don't want to oversell it because this is, again, a mod pack that I've put a, a, a small amount of polish into compared to what I normally would. This was just meant to be a, a filler series where we explore vanilla genetics expanded and it's ended up being a whole other beast. <laughs> this really is quite the mess and I'm looking forward to playing even more of it. If you'd like to play along, I'll do my usual and throw together the whole mod pack. I'll make the save available and uh, you can check it out down in the description. This is... This is certainly going to be something. It really has evolved beyond what I expected. Thank you, of course, to the patrons for allowing all of this to exist in the first place. Patrons, with regards to the other... In the background of playing this series, I'm going to be building another big mod pack. Like, the uh, the, the big mod pack. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of back and forth with this mod pack. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you already have a good idea of what it is. A lot of people like, just straight up already know. Um, I'm going to be putting up a Patreon video later today detailing exactly what this mod pack is going to be. And I want to work with, with all of you on this. I want to make sure that this is, um, you know, like a really nicely designed experience. I don't just want to make it for a playthrough. I want people to uh, to be able to actually enjoy this as a, as a full-on change of pace when it comes to RimWorld. So I'm going to be working with all of you, uh, getting some mods together, getting your feedback on balancing, coming up with some ideas for sections of our playthrough. Can't go into too much more detail beyond that, but you'll you'll know very soon. Thank you in the meantime to Alvin Flang, Nalia Leal, Deadly Black Belt, Honey Delalio, the RB Stream, Ron Cena, Lobster King, Azathoth, Bloodfang, Spongy Bomb Monster, Dranmir, Deets, Adam, RB, R99712, and Virga of Doom for their support. The executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you all for your support over there. Oh, I forgot to mention it. Uh, in game, I'll mention it at the start of tomorrow's episode for the people who have already turned off. Uh, we've got a Patreon faction now. Big shout out to Dagon for helping do all of the Rimworld side of it. But basically, I've with with that, with the, with the faction that Dagon has thrown together for us, I can take the Patreon list, convert them, basically use a little script I've written to do that, and plug it straight into Rimworld. So all of your names, all of your name requests are already in game, technically. And we could be raided at any point by all of these fantastic people. Including Big Boa, Freckers, Thistress Morana, Xenos the Painter, Lady Ceruleum, Adam S, Blood for the Blood God, Corvade, Smegma Dave, Flom, Dun Dun, Larry the Emu, Heck, Kek Solly, and Nia. Don't be surprised if Smegma Dave turns up as a raider soon. Because that can happen now. That is literally in-game currently. 